Hi there, you are on my Scorpio Press page, or maybe you came here from the Facebook group, or maybe you came here from simplebookmarketing.com, but you're here today to watch a webinar where I claim to be able to teach you to write a book in seven days. And not only that, write a better book in seven days. And I think that it's true because I've seen it work. I've seen it work dozens of times for several different authors. Um, it works for me when I'm writing a new book for Amazon. It works. It totally works. And I think it works better because you are laser focused on your message. You don't get stuck in procrastination. I found this awesome little, little meme here I want to show you. Um, we're going to say goodbye to this stuff right here. Writer's block, caffeine addiction, endless um, rejection letters, all those things are going away. Poor Woody looks really discouraged and most authors are when they start. And especially if you're starting to write a book you think you need to write and you're not necessarily inspired or you don't necessarily love writing, this is the method for you. So let's get rid of that and get started. I love Woody. Um, I have six kids and five boys and so Toy Story has been part of our life since it came out when my oldest was about three and uh, he wanted that Woody doll so bad and they were completely sold out. So we looked everywhere. It was it was a bad deal for Christmas. So we got him um, Buzz Lightyear instead and he fell in love with Buzz Lightyear. So it's all good and it's all good for you if you're trying to write your book. Um, like I said, because you know you need to write it. It's either a message you have for the world or it's part of your ongoing um, it's part of your ongoing strategy for your coaching business or your entrepreneurship journey. So I want to tell you how I got the idea of being able to write a book in seven days because a lot of people, they just don't believe me. Um, I just don't believe that it's possible. They don't, they don't think that it's a good plan even. But I got the idea. I listen to a lot of audio books while I'm either driving or taking my walks, um, working in the kitchen, wherever. I listen to a lot of audio books. And it struck me, I was looking at the length of an audiobook, you know, between 8 and 20 hours for the average of the audiobooks that I was listening to. And I thought, hmm, if you can listen to a book in 8 hours, that means you can read a book straight through in 8 hours. So you should be able to write a book in some, in some ex exponent of that. So you should be able to use that and figure out how to write your book in a short amount of hours as well. Or you should be able to figure out how many hours it would take you to write a book. And then I thought if you're just talking and you're telling your story, that's often easier process than writing it. So that's an option too for you to just audio record everything and send it off to be transcribed if you hate to type or if the writing, physical writing process is cumbersome for you, then audio transcription is a good and awesome option. But that's where I got the idea and so I tested it out, totally worked out. But what I'm finding is that you can typically write a book in about three times the amount of hours that it takes to listen to it or read it out loud. So if that gives you an idea, that's that's basically what I'm seeing it play out for for my authors. So I am showing up here like you should show up, messy bun, glasses on, cup of hot coffee, total chill moment where you can get really clear on what it is you want to say to the world. So I have my notebook and my pen. We're going to do this together. Pen in a notebook, something warm to drink, just, just get really relaxed and don't think about writing a book. Think about what it is you want to say to the world because that's the first thing that we're going to do together. Before you start writing, I'm going to hold your feet to the fire here. I'm going to ask you to show up in a really big way and we're going to kill procrastination dead. It's going to be done and over. You will not procrastinate on this if you do this very first task I'm going to give you. Ready? I want you to get on Facebook from your phone right now and or Instagram, Twitter, wherever you want to do it, or you can even email some of your colleagues. I want you to tell everybody that you know that you're writing a book and that in the next week you'll be able to give them the title and a publishing date. Do it. That's how you kill procrastination. You show up and you actually do the work. You show up, you show up, you show up, you show up, and you do the work. And it starts by making a firm commitment to yourself and to others that you're doing this. I promise you, you'll be done in a week. Um, you may not know the publishing date in a week, but you'll know pretty close. So 
Go do that right now. And then when you come back, we're going to start on the next part. Now look at this. Um, I'll show you this next little meme, which is something I want to warn you about now. And I'm going to warn you about multiple times. Don't try to edit your own manuscript. This is what you will end up looking like at the computer. If you don't have these little lines in your forehead and you don't have crow's feet yet, you will if you try editing your own manuscript. So when you think about writing a book in seven days, it does not include any of the editing process, okay? That's for somebody else to do. That's not your job. That's not what you're skilled at. Please don't even attempt it. It's just an exercise in frustration for everybody involved, your reader too, because if it's not your job, you're not going to be great at it. Now, the very first day you're, you sent that email and you sent that out, at, on, that's really all you need to do for that day. Think about titles, think about what it is you want to say. And then on day two, I want you to sit down with this notebook and paper and again, get really clear, get it in one sentence, what it is you want to say to the world. So let's do this together. If you had a chance to sit on the stage with Tony Robbins or Oprah or the president, or your governor of the state you live in, or the local news station, if you had a chance to say what you want to say, what would it be? What would you say? If you had a sentence or two that you were given a chance to say in front of a worldwide audience, what was it? What is it that you would say? That's what you want to say in this book. So you have to get crystal clear on what that is. One or two sentences at most, write it down. That's your guiding light. That's your steering wheel throughout this entire process. Okay? So write that down in one or two sentences and get super clear. No whys, no hows, none of that. Just what it is you want to say. You have to nail it. You have to be able to say it with confidence and clarity exactly what it is you want to say to people in this book. You're going to say one thing, not ten things, one thing. Um, I see a lot of authors try to fit everything they know into one book and it just doesn't work. Worse than that, it will lead you to being frustrated and not finishing your manuscript. And if you do, your readers are not going to like your book. People like clarity. They're drawn, we're all drawn to clarity. We're drawn to people with very clear messages because it's easy to, to glean information from people who are just teaching one thing. That's why we're drawn to it. And so as a part of this, this strategy, you need to be very clear on what it is you want to say to the world. Okay, so now number two, day two, you've written down that main idea. Give yourself a toast, a high five. You did your work for the day. Day three. I want you to write that main idea right here, and I'll write mine down. Okay, so you have your main idea written in on your notebook. Put a circle around it, just like that. Then I want you to start writing the ideas and the experiences and the stories that brought you to this main idea. So I'm going to do a few. You may have taken a a yoga retreat and some of this clarity came to you then. Um, you might have gone through a divorce or a death and that those some of this idea some of these ideas and, and lessons came to you then. You might have taken a course. Um, you might have just taken a vacation to somewhere you've never been before and while you're sitting on the beach or climbing a mountain, all this came to you. It might be part of your prayer life or dream life may have come to you in a prayer or a dream. So you have all those things listed out there, okay? Just in main ideas, right? I have six things. These six things, this is your job for the day, six to 10 things at the most. You don't want more than, ten, than six or seven. Um, eight to 10 is max supporting ideas for this one idea, for the main idea. That's, um, that's the beginning of the outline for your book. So as soon as you have that, these you're going to spend day three and four on this part. Hopefully you'll be done with this really quickly. And it should come to you really quickly. You have these things. These then become the chapters in your book. Don't worry about what order they go in. Don't worry about naming the chapters. Don't worry about any of that. That's part of what your editor will help you do. You're going to write a chapter on each of these things. You can include quotes, you can include part of your story, include as much of your story as you can, honestly. Um, resources, where you went on that re re yoga retreat that was amazing and transformational. Um, where you go to church, 
that story about your divorce. You know, decide on how much of the story you want to tell and start writing each of these down. Don't worry about word count. Please don't worry about word count. That is a workshop all on its own about how the word count really can kill a great manuscript. Don't worry about the word count. It does not matter in the least how many words you're writing. Write with clarity and you will, if you sink into this process, you'll feel when you're done. You'll feel like, yeah, that's, that's the whole of that. That's everything about that yoga retreat I wanted to tell my best friend. And that's everything about that course I took that I wanted to tell my best friend. And that's everything about when my dad died that brought me to this main idea and this, this is what I want to tell the world. Everything's there. I wrote it all down. However long that takes, whatever you need to write, just write it down, okay? You're going to spend two days doing this part. Now, on, page, on, on day five, you're going to read all of your writing together in one setting. You should be able to do it in seven or eight hours at the most. You, sh you probably won't even need that much time to read it. Um, here is where... I really want to pull the meme up again. I know it may be lame, but I want you to think about this again. This is not your job. You are not going to be editing your manuscript. You're not going over it with a fine tooth comb. You're going to be reading it all through with those main ideas, your guide, and the, the supporting ideas and, and evidences that, that you experienced. Those are going to be your chapters, and you're going to read all this through. And as you come to each one, just say to yourself, yeah, I really did. I put all, everything in there that I want to. Oftentimes, as you read it through that second time, something else will come to you. And you're like, oh, yeah, I can't believe I forgot. I saw this bumper sticker at just this time, and it totally solidified everything for me. I can't believe I forgot that. So you can write another paragraph or something in there. So you're just going to firm it up and gel it up to where you feel like all of your story has been told. Then, okay, spend all of day five doing that. Day six, if you need to. I always tell people sleep on it and then do it again on day six. So just sleep on it. Do it again on day six. Just do a quick read through. Don't try to edit it. Don't try to edit it. Nobody likes this face right here. Nobody likes it. Don't try to edit it, okay? <laughs> Nobody needs to see it. Okay, there we go. It's gone. Um, day five and six. And as soon as you're done, you're going to put that in a Word document. Formatting doesn't matter. Every editor will tell you something different, so it doesn't really matter. Just get it in a Word or Pages document. A Word document's better. And just get it all in there. If you hand wrote this or you would like to speak it into a recorder, do those as individual files. If you um, are looking to have it transcribed instead of typing it all out, do each main idea, um, supporting idea for the main idea, do each of those in a separate file. So you will just record yourself reading through the first story that supports your main idea. And then the second story will be a second file. So those will be individual portions of the book that will end up being chapters. One thing that a content editor does for you, which is one of the things that I do, it's really the thing that I'm best at, um, in the publishing process is reading your entire manuscript and saying, okay, I'm not feeling this, this one right here, this chapter. I don't understand how it ties into the rest of it. That may mean that you need to tweak it a little bit, add or take away some things. It also may mean that it's part of another story that it just doesn't belong there. Okay. And that's not rejection. It just means it belongs in another book. And that's one thing that a content editor can really nail for you. If you're looking to hire an editor on your own, you need to be really clear on what types of editors that there are. Um, I have a download, a cheat sheet for you that includes this process that I just walked you through every single day, as well as the different types of editors that you need to look for if you're going to do this. Try to do it on your own, and I'll get to that in just a second. Let's talk about day seven. Day seven is the day where you get back on Facebook, Instagram, wherever you went, and you do a Facebook Live or wherever it is, email. Whatever you did on day one, you're going to do that again, and you're going to follow up with all those people and say, I just finished my rough draft. It is done. I'm sending it off to my editor now, and I will let you know as soon as I hear back from her celebrate with me and then just let it go. You wrote your book. You're finished. Don't torture yourself over it. Don't torture yourself over what's the editor going to say? What if nobody likes it? All those mindset things, 
that's a workshop for another day as well because the mindset of a writer is often pretty tortured and I don't think that it needs to be that way. It definitely does not need to be that way. The, the market for books and the readership um, people that read books, everything has changed so much since, since you know, those of us that are in our 40s, 50s, and 60s, things have changed so much since we were in, you know, our early 20s reading books. The type of book that's popular has changed. The vocabulary has changed. Things aren't quite so tight in a literary sense, and you have more license to be yourself when you're writing. Um you're not going to get a bunch of red lines from most editors other than just some simple grammar and spelling checks. So again, there is a um, an option for you to download the, the daily guide. So it's every single day of the seven day process, how to write a better book in seven days, as well as what type of editor you might want to look for and those things. If you are finished now you're going to wonder, what, what am I going to do with my book? So I'm going to tell you my first suggestion for a first-time author is get an ebook out there. Getting an ebook out there is really, really simple on the Kindle format. If you want it on iBooks and Nook and all those other places, it's a little trickier, but it's not impossible. Um, and actually setting it up on Kindle can be done yourself. I have a couple of offers for you, only for the people who have watched this webinar all the way through, 16 minutes of it so far. Um, I have my do-it-yourself Kindle package that includes the um, cover file, dimensions, everything you need to know about your cover file image for the Kindle app. My master class that I teach within my VIP program, um, my Write On Collective authors, I'll get that master class for publishing on Kindle because often they have more books and they don't all need to be in paperback. So that te that's a video just like this one walking you through setting up your book for the Kindle process and actually getting it published on pen, on Kindle all by yourself. There's a template for how to set up your book so the chapters show up correctly and all that. So everything's in there. That's the DIY Kindle package. And then underneath that, if you're if that doesn't feel like something you want to tackle right now, we do publish Kindle books here at Scorpio Press and I have a killer of a deal for you um, underneath here in the second offer. So if you're looking for something in between there, if you're looking for editing services or book cover design Oh, the Kindle package also do, does include um, a one-of-a-kind targeted custom cover. One of the things I love to do in the business is, is um, in my company is to design those covers. And I designed, actually I designed all the covers except one of the 40 odd books that we've published in the last two years. So um, I have loved the process. Thank you so much for showing up. That's all I have to say to you. You'll get an email with one reminder in the replay, reminder of those two um, offers that I have, they both expire in 48 hours, both the replay and the two offers that I have. Because if you go to www.scorpio.press, those are extremely low price points compared to my normal pricing on the website. So you get a heck of a deal if you want to jump on there and take advantage of that. Even if you don't have your book done, you have six months to turn in the manuscript for that Kindle um, package. But you won't need, you will not need, you will not need six months. I promise you. You can do it in seven days if you really just set your mind and set your intentions to do that. If you work yourself up and make it something bigger than it is, then you won't. Don't think about anything except what it is it I'm supposed to say. What is it I want to say? As soon as you're done, as soon as you're done, then you're done. That makes any sense? Like as soon as you're done writing it, you're, you're done writing it. And you hand that off to the next person in that chain of things. So you don't go buy a house and then immediately start, um, you know, repairing the roof and doing all the, pl you don't do all that stuff yourself. Of course you don't. That's done. You're in the process of, you know, choosing the colors you want and packing up your old house and getting, you've moved on in the process. Same thing happens with your book. And if I would love for you to move on the process with me, but even if not, I have a couple of DIY offers for you down below. So if um, you need anything, you can always reach me at Kelly at Scorpio.press or Facebook me on, um, send me a message on Facebook or yeah, those are the two best ways to contact me. Um, I'm training myself not to give my phone number out to people because my clientele 
space is growing so it's gotten so big that I, I, I just can't give my personal phone number out to anybody, but I hate it. Um, thanks, Stephanie, for the great info. Thanks for watching. And anybody else that, that has watched, I don't see anybody else in the chat box, but anybody else that watched it, thanks for showing up. I hope the 20 minutes was well spent. And if there's anything else I can do for you, don't hesitate to reach out.